My research is about the use of behavioural economics to assist in commercial law design. So it's a joint project with Professor James Davey of the University of Southampton. And we are essentially hoping to provide behaviourally informed guidance to law reform bodies who are designing commercial law. Um, The problem we've identified is that commercial law tends to be based on untested assumptions about the way in which people behave. And we think that these assumptions are false and that in actual fact, contracting parties don't behave in the way that the law presumes. And we think that this might mean that commercial law rules might not work in the way that we assume that they work. So this project hopes to use behavioural economics to, um, to assess how parties actually behave. And we hope to look at how commercial law rules are implemented in practice and to hope that that, that, that would then be used in assisting in commercial law design. And we're also hoping to introduce a sort of scientific method of experimentation and evaluation in relation to commercial law designs. Put simply, we want to test commercial laws that currently exist. Before we introduce new commercial laws, we want to experiment with them and see how they might work. And then once they've been implemented, we want to see, well, how are commercial laws actually implemented in practice? This research is important because commercial law affects us in all our day-to-day lives. So anytime you enter into a sales contract, a service contract, a construction contract, to build a house or a building, if you enter into an insurance contract, these are all commercial transactions that are governed by commercial legislation. And it's very important that that framework that's in place makes sense and actually reflects how people work in practice. Um, I think that sometimes it's it's often said that commercial law and contract law rules form the basis of our market economy, but it's often neglected. We often fail to check and see, well, actually, does it actually make sense? And hopefully this research will assist us in producing better commercial law rules for the future.